I'm Della Cruz. My guest today hails from Edison, Middlesex County. She's a student at Rutgers University studying marketing and Spanish. Chavi Berg is Miss New Jersey USA. She was first runner-up at the Miss USA pageant in Las Vegas. News 12 New Jersey's Marissa Brainy is joining me to talk to Chavi. And thank you both very much for being here. You look so lovely. Thank, thank you. you. I'm happy to be here and speak with Chavi about such an incredible experience. All of us in Jersey are so proud of her. Yes, we are. Thank you. You represented us well out there. Thank you so much. It was, you know, it was just such an honor to be able to stand on that stage and represent New Jersey amongst all these women. So I'm, I'm just so honored and so grateful for the opportunity. And I bet everybody in the audience there and on watching on TV, they were so excited for you, your parents and everybody. Oh, my parents were <laughs> definitely very excited. They brought little... Uh, Horns, like you know the birthday, the New Year <laughs> horns. I yes, love it. and they were in the audience, just blowing at the like, and I could hear them from on the stage. I was like, oh yep, that's them. That's there them they right are. <laughs> they wanted to make sure you knew yes, they were there yes. ready for you. <laughs> Let us go back down the walkway of the two weeks you spent out there in Las Vegas. We have video and pictures. Describe exactly what you all did out there. So the entire process was about two weeks long. I went on May, I, that's when I left, May 1st, and I was there till May 14th. So registration started May 4th, and from there it was basically, you know, interviews, filming the little clips that they showed during the uh, pageant itself, and they took us out to so many places. I went to go see the Jabberwockies. I went to go see. Whoa, whoa, back group. up! Did you just say the Jabberwockies? Yes, I love them. They yes, are so, they're aren't they really so, good. They're so good, and we got to go see them one night. So it was an amazing experience. Like the entire ten days I was there at Miss USA, I am never going to forget. It jam packed. It sounds like you had it you was, know a lineup, and I think that's a misconception maybe a lot of people have about the pageants that it's sort of uh, you go you you compete and then you come home but but no 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 it's an entire process i did so many interviews throughout the time i was there we did photo shoots i had this one gown in a desert photo shoot i don't know wow. if you've seen pictures it's like a pink dress and it's like they took us to uh, i believe it was the valley of fire and we just shot there and it was so so cool it was an unbelievable experience what was it like bonding with the other young pageant contestants you know, that's one thing, that's actually definitely a misconception. So many people think that pageant girls are very catty and since we're in competition mode, we kind of, we secretly hate each other or are trying to sabotage each other. Not the case at all. I made so many friends and we're actually planning a trip to Europe in wow. the near future, yes. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk a little bit about your background with yes. pageants because, you know, when you see how well you did in, in this <laughs> pageant, people think, oh, well, she must be a pro. Not really the case. No, this was my, well, I competed two times prior to winning Miss New Jersey USA, so that was my third pageant. And then, uh, this. so technically Miss USA is like my fourth pageant. So I'm very new to pageantry. Yeah. But I think it's been it's been very helpful because when you're in you it's like it gives you that outsider perspective and you can bring something different to the entire pageant scene. What encouraged you to get involved with pageants and how long have you been doing it? I never imagined ever competing in a pageant when I was younger. It was just not on my radar, but when I was a junior in high school, I saw Miss New Jersey Teen USA as a scholarship opportunity. And I've always loved being on stage and communicating with people. And that was, it was so appealing to me. I thought, let me just give this a shot. And I've always also seen pageantry as a, as a platform. You get so much, so, there's so many people that follow pageants. And if you have something that you want to bring awareness to, you can do that. What do you want to bring awareness to? I definitely <laughs> want to work towards women's empowerment. I believe that nowadays with all the pressure from society, social media, everything, women are in such a place where they're constantly, they're being so self-critical. And I just want other girls and other women to know that it's okay to not be perfect and to continue pursuing your dreams regardless of what anyone says. Such an important message, especially for young women, yes. uh, you know, going through high school and college now where um, the phones, the social media were, you know, it, yes. it's such a big part of sort of adolescence and mm -hmm. growing up. And so um, what have you found, what has been the response to, to that platform? What do people say when, when you bring that up? 
I, a lot of people have been very supportive about it. And there's so many different ways. Like for me, the biggest, I guess you could say my platform would be women's empowerment through education. And when I say education, I mean more like the sharing of knowledge, not just academic education, even though that's very important in itself. So when I, uh, when I actually, the reason I thought of this as my platform or this something I want to work towards as Miss New Jersey USA and as Miss USA, it's because of my great grandmother and my grandmother's story. They were both child brides, so they got married before the age of 10. Wow. And at my age, I'm 20 years old right now, they had the responsibility of a family. And I, looking back, I, I, looking at their story, I just can't imagine having four or five children at this age. I'm still a kid myself. Exactly. That in my, you know, that's how I feel. So it just, it made me think that there's still girls in that position now. They can't go to school. They can't do the things. They can't reach their full potential because they have these, these restrictions. So what can we do to get rid of them. I think in the 21st century, in 2017, that something like that's still going on. I know. It's, it, it shouldn't be happening. In which case, the women in your family, your mother, your grandmother, they mm -hmm. must be so proud of the fact mm -hmm. that you are taking that torch in a whole different direction. My grandmother was very, very proud. In fact, even after I came um, off the stage of, of the pageant, so I didn't win, and I really wanted to win for my grandparents because, you know, for them, where they've come from to see me win that would have been so amazing but uh even though i didn't win my grandmother was so proud she said you have made me so happy and i'm so so proud of you so you became the second indian american miss new jersey usa yes. congratulations thank you and see this exposure that you've gotten that will just catapult you in ways you can't even begin to imagine, mm -hmm. just like American Idol and Dancing with the Stars. I hope so. <laughs> we have a lot more to talk about, so yes. stay with us. We'll be right back with more with Miss New Jersey USA straight ahead. I'm Della Cruz with my co-host Marissa Brainy. Chavi Berg, Miss New Jersey USA, is our guest here on Spotlight New Jersey. And we were talking a, a lot about your family yes. and their influence and support. And yes. an interesting background. You have a, an, an interesting family background. We're going to, I think, show some of the pictures of you as a wee one with your, <laughs> with your parents. We have to show the baby pictures. Of right? we do. Yeah. So cute. Tell us a little bit about your family's background. You're from Edison. Uh, what was it like growing up? So I actually was not born in the United States of America. I came here when I was four years old, and I came with my father and my mother, who was pregnant at the time with my younger brother. And we came here with $500. So to start off a life in a country that we really didn't know much about with very limited means, it, I just saw growing up how hard my parents worked to be able to give my brother and me the opportunities that we have, and they really left no stone unturned. They did whatever it took. And if it weren't for the sacrifices they made, I wouldn't be here today. Your mom is crying at home hearing that. I can tell you that <laughs> much. Is. The tears running down because that is a, a, certainly a testament to, to your parents. Yes. You and the other young ladies in the pageant who were immigrants yes. talked about that on the yes. show. Tell us about that. I was fortunate enough to be one of the five immigrant contestants competing for Miss USA. And the, I think now more than ever, it's so important to be able to realize that just because you weren't born in the United States of America does not mean that you're not American. I'm a U.S. citizen, and that's just one way I'm American. But growing up here, the values that I've grown up with, those are all reasons that, you know, it's like American is so different now. What does it mean to be American? I think that's the question that we have to really think about. American is not something that's based on skin color. The beauty about America is that we're a diverse nation where every single individual from every corner of the world can come here and live by the American values, live with the American freedoms that we've been granted. And that's, if you believe in these values, I think you're American. Exactly. You and I have a common crush on one particular celebrity. <laughs> it is the one and only 
Pitbull. <laughs> and you told everybody, call you Ms. Worldwide. <laughs> uh, from henceforth. You met him up, clo per up close and personal. Yes. Tell me about that. I would love to meet him. All right. So this is how it all <laughs> went down. I knew um, when we were rehearsing, Pitbull had come on one of the days before a show just to practice the sequence and rehearsing. And I saw him from my seat um, in the on, on the stage in the audience section, and I just said, "Oh my goodness, who is that? Is that Pitbull? He's really attractive." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and all these contestants, they were like, "Yeah, he is, right?" And I was like, "Yes, he is." So I was just hoping, you know, hopefully I'll make top three, so I'll be able to like, <laughs> like get serenaded by Pitbull. <laughs> so we were backstage. I was top three, and I think there's some videos of this somewhere on Instagram. I've been tagged in a bunch of them. And Pitbull came out and he started singing. We were backstage getting ready to walk out. And I was just getting so excited, like, oh my goodness, Pitbull, 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 Pitbull. <laughs> and I was dancing to his music. I walked on stage when it was my turn. And he, like, he held my hand. <gasps> <I> just... <laughs> no, you lucky thing. He did. What was that like? It was, well, I mean, I was just, I, I was so surprised because I wasn't expecting it. It came out of nowhere. But I was just, I was walking off the stage and he held my hand and I just, I was dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> that picture, too, of him looking at you. He is like, get a load of this gown. Like, he is just <laughs> loving it. And you looked gorgeous, by thank the way. You, the gown was stunning. You. But look, he so appreciates it, What's going on in this too. particular picture? That's exactly. what I mean. Yeah, what's, yeah. What is going on? I would like to think that Pitbull is just looking at me and just thinking to himself, yep, that's Mrs. Worldwide right there. <laughs> <laughs> That looked Love like it. a lot of fun. It was. Uh, going back to the pageant, New Jersey now has two first runner-ups mm -hmm. and two second runner-ups in Miss USA. Mm -hmm. What an achievement. Yes. We actually, New Jersey still has yet to win the Miss USA crown. Oh, it's coming. But yes, I'm, that's my <laughs> challenge for the next year's girls. Um, when I crown my successor, I'm going to tell her, you know, this is your year. You need to win Miss USA for Jersey. We haven't won yet. Yeah. So, and it's, you know, just in general, I feel like being from New Jersey, one of the things that I I love about New Jersey people is how we keep it real. I think there is mm. there is no questioning how how genuine right. people from Jersey are, and I love that about it. It's and that's so exactly true. what you bring on stage too, isn't it? Yeah. I try keeping to, it real. Yes, keeping it real. Yes, absolutely. You well, are. I think people respond really well to authenticity, yes. and when you speak, it's very clear that that you bring a very authentic experience your you know your own life also an authentic view of uh, what the pageant means to you yes. and especially being as you said before sort of new to, to yes. pageantry that brings its own authenticity you yes. know so absolutely one hundred like absolutely That's you speak Spanish I do you also speak Hindu Hindi Hindi mm -hmm. speak a little both for me okay so in Hindi I what, what would you like me to say we love News 12 New Jersey. There we go. Perfect. Mujhe News 12 New Jersey se bohat jada pyar hai. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could say it like that. That sounded beautiful. You're also a dancer. Yes. Now speak. Say it again. Bharatanatyam. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you said it. We'll Explain what that, that is. One. Yeah. So Bharatanatyam is an Indian classical dance form, and it's about 2,000 years old. Approximately wow. 2,000 years old. So... This art form is something that people used to dance in temples in order to worship the gods, in order to praise the gods. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's still being carried down to 2017, it's unbelievable. And when I was a younger girl, I did not really want to learn Bharatanatyam because I was more into hip hop and, you know, like the quick, fast paced cool music. Stuff. The cool yeah. stuff. Yeah. Everything your parents loved, right? Right. Quote yeah. unquote. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to learn. I even told my mom when I was about eight or nine, I said, I'm done with Bharatanatyam. I'm not going there anymore. I don't want to do it. And she said, no, you need to, you need to learn. You have to stick with this. And can I just say, sticking with Bharatanatyam was the best decision I've ever made in my life because I was about 16 years old and I did my Arangitram, which is the culmination of your training. So from four to 16 was my training period. And when I was 16, I did this solo onstage performance for four hours. And four yes, hours. one of the dance pieces was actually 30 minutes. Ooh, wow. okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're on stage dancing for 30 minutes and it's supposed to, the entire year leading up to that event, 
you are training on your endurance, you are learning seven or eight dances, just so that like you can really prove that, yes, I have mastered my training and I'm ready to take on my next, my dancing career. Wow. Before we go to break, I want you to do something. Yes. Look at the camera with the light. Yes. Tell mom she was right. <laughs> this one? Yes. Okay. There you no, go. This one. Right this one. Or yeah. this one, okay. Okay. Uh, there you go with the red light. Go with camera too. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mom, you were right. I'm glad I stuck with Bharatanatyam. But moms are always right, See, right? moms can stick together. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back with more from Chavi Berg, Miss New Jersey, USA. Welcome back to Spotlight New Jersey. My guest co-host Marissa Brainy and I are talking with Chavi Verg, Miss New Jersey USA. And a big component of Spotlight New Jersey involves how people give back and pay it forward in the community, something you are big into too as well. Yes. So I, when I became Miss New Jersey USA, I was so excited because now I had all these different opportunities to really give back as Miss New Jersey USA. And I believe one of my first appearances was at the um, the food pantry in Metuchen at the church and I had it was for around it was around Thanksgiving and we had all this um, these canned goods that we were giving out to people who need who were in need and it was one of the most I was so speechless by the response that I got from the people they they were just so surprised Miss New Jersey USA is helping us with our groceries she's giving us these these items and for me, the biggest compliment was hearing God bless you. Exactly. And I don't, it was, it, I felt like such a, such an amazing human being after that. And I think that's the thing that you have to work towards in life. Just, because we are all human beings who right. have it on our foreheads that say, just please see me, which is exactly what Princess Diana did before yeah. her death 20 years ago. Exactly, exactly. So it, obviously charity is, is also, and service in general, is a, is a big component of, of pageants yes. as well. Um, talk to us a little bit about some of the things that you do uh, mm -hmm. with the title of Miss New Jersey. Uh, in addition to charity work, do you speak? Do, you know, mm -hmm. Take us through what the year is like for you. Before I actually won my pageant, um, Miss New Jersey USA, I had started a campaign on Instagram called hashtag Wonder Woman Wednesday. And <laughs> okay, where did that come from? So that actually, the reason I did that was because I was, when I was getting in shape for Miss New Jersey USA, I decided to join an online training program. And it was all these women who were working towards, you know, different goals, but following the same program. And through that, I met women who were just so empowered and so empowering. This was not a competition like, oh, you're not like, I'm better than you or she's better than whoever. This was something where every single woman was like, in, like empowering another woman to do her best. So if one girl said, oh my goodness, I can't do this today. Like, yes, you can go to the gym, you can do this. And it was one of the, it was like so, such an amazing experience to be a part of it. I thought, you know, why not celebrate the accomplishments of successful women and empower other women to show the world that women are not catty and we're not always in competition with each other. We support each other and when we do support each other, that's when we all rise. Yes. So that's something I started um, Wonder Woman Wednesday to highlight the accomplishments of women and I continue to work towards that now. And I'm actually helping uh, a charity build a school in India so to continue educating women, and like I said, education is sharing of knowledge for me, to continue educating women in places of the world where they may not, it's not always readily available. And that's the purpose behind your school there in India, yes. the same way Oprah has her school in Africa. Yes. So just to, to further education and really help every single person rise to the top and reach their full potential. All a part of your, your platform as well, yes. all, all going along with that. Um, you spoke a little bit about social media, but um, you, you had a, a, a large response on social media during the pageant, specifically toward your one answer. Yes. And this all kind of, it, it all comes full circle yes, in this. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what the question was, what your response was, mm -hmm. and, and why you feel people were so taken with, with what you had to say about that topic. So my question was, what do you consider feminism to be and do you consider yourself to be a feminist? And as soon as I heard the word feminism, I just thought, yes, I am a feminist because I 
my definition of feminism is not man-hating like many people would think. That's a misconception that women who are feminists are, they feel that they're superior to men and just, it's just wrong. This is not something about superiority, this is about equality. And to have equal rights, it's something that still to this day we don't have. So feminism is that movement to show the world that women are are entitled to the same rights as men. It's not, actually it's not even entitlement. Women, they work for those same rights right, as men, right. exactly. If not harder. Yes, and it's it's something that should be given. It's not something that we should think about. Equal, why it do should you be have, automatic. It should be automatic. Mm -hmm. Why would you have to think about making someone equal? You know. So when that question came up, I really didn't think, I just spoke from the heart. And I think that's why people, I got that response that I did. You can just tell when something is coming, when you truly believe in something, you can just tell. And that's oh, people tap right in. into that. They t it totally resonates with them. Mm -hmm. Chavi Berg, thank you so much for coming on today. We really appreciate all these inspirational words. And Marissa Brainy, thank you so much for joining us. Such a pleasure to be here. It was great watching the two of you together talking. Such a pleasure to be here. And so lovely speaking with you thank and, you. and you know, hearing more about your background. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank and you if you'd like me. to find out more about Chavi Berg, Miss New Jersey USA, log on to news12.com, features, then Spotlight New Jersey. You can also check out my Facebook page, New Jersey, the Spotlight is on you.